Well, hi there, folks. My name is Vlad, and welcome to the Outdoor Coffee and Cooking channel. This channel is focused on um, making coffee and cooking in the outdoors, all different kinds of methods and styles and um, um, setups. So I was kind of just hoping to, you know, share information with you guys on equipment, techniques, um, just fun times in the outdoors that involve um, coffee and cooking. There's two things that I love. So today we are out in the beautiful Selkirk Mountains of Idaho. We're out here backpacking and we are, um, we got up this morning. It's pretty early still. And I figured we'd make some coffee since that's what this is about. And I'd kind of want to talk about specifically um, something I've been using for a while. It is this um, GSI Outdoors coffee grinder. Um, it's kind of aimed and geared towards, you know, camping, backpacking, that kind of stuff. So it's got some pretty cool features. I want to kind of talk about some things I like, some things I don't like about it, what it's useful for, and then brew some coffee and show you how it works. So um, here it is. It is made out of plastic for the most part. It's kind of this translucent grayish plastic. This little cup sits on the bottom, snaps in there. The top part also made out of plastic, a um, little plastic lid. Goes on top, so that's how you put the coffee inside. And then inside is a set of ceramic burrs, and then the shaft is metal there. And it's secured on the bottom here with three metal screws that screw into the plastic body. So, um, it's fairly lightweight. Um, you can read up the specs of this thing in the description down below if you're interested. Um, and then the handle is aluminum. And it's got a little rubber handle on there that you can actually reverse. So when you store this thing to kind of uh, save on space, you put it on there like that. You take that off. You pop this off and put it on the other side. And then you put this back in there and twist it until it kind of clicks. And then there you go, that's your handle. So there you go. So that's how that looks. Um, on here, once you've kind of put that hand on there, you can adjust the um, coarseness of your grounds by just twisting this and you get some clicks, but they're they're pretty loose. Um, so yeah, to, to adjust your um, coffee coarseness or fineness, it's kind of just um, like a trial and error technique. You kind of just start out somewhere and just go from there. Um, I will say it's not great at adjusting coffee. Um, the way it's designed inside with the, the whole shaft being um, secured in about a three quarters of an inch of a plastic sleeve, it's pretty, the shaft is pretty wobbly and that translates to the burrs below. So, um, you're not going to be getting any great consistency out of stuff. I will say, um, the, probably the best use for this grinder would be French press because French press is super forgiving. Um, maybe a little bit of like a, a pour over or something. I would not try to do any like espresso type or, um, you know, specialty coffee type with this grinder because you're just not gonna get anything fine enough or consistent enough. Um, so today, we're gonna use a little Stanley French press, um, put some coffee in here, show you how this thing works, and we'll make some coffee. Let's get some water boiling. So, get a little stove lit up here. And while that is boiling up, we will Grind us some coffee. So on the side here, it's got these little gram indicators. Um, they are roughly accurate. Obviously, it depends on the kind of roast you have. If you have like a lighter roast or a, a, a darker roast, it would be different um, sizes. So um, that's pretty rough. But I found that just a full container here of coffee generally makes enough for like one cup of coffee or so, like one and a half, depending on how strong you like it. Um, I typically go with like a 50 to 60 grams of coffee per liter of water. So 
um, 20 grams would make you about one third of a liter. So that's about one, one American cup, 12 ounces, whatever. So we got our coffee beans in here. Take a handful, throw them in there. And you want to make sure you don't fill it all the way to the top because this cap kind of sits down low into there. So right about there is usually good. And this plastic cap just kind of slides right over that, like that. Snap the handle in. Make sure that it's actually fully locked. If it's kind of halfway, it starts to kind of wobble and actually starts to wear down the handle and doesn't work too well. So there we go. Just start grinding. So you can see it comes out the bottom. Pretty smooth, and it's nice that it's a pretty good size. It fits in your hand well. Um, not hard to grind at all. And it takes about maybe a minute or so to get the full grinder of coffee, so not too bad. We're about, actually we're almost done. And then you know it's fully done and it kind of starts to spin freely without the grinder noises. So there you go, just like that. Kind of give it a bit of a tap to knock it out of the burrs and then open it up. And there you go. So let me kind of show you what I'm talking about with the consistency of this of the grind. So you can kind of see in there, see there's a lot of little pieces and a lot of big pieces. Um, and I've noticed that you're gonna get those big pieces almost no matter what you do. But fortunately, um, French press is pretty forgiving with that and you kind of just dump them in there and let it soak. But beware, that's kind of what you're gonna get. It's not a very expensive grinder, so you're not gonna get super high quality um, results out of it. Okay, well the water is just about boiled. We're gonna dump our grounds in here. I just dump it right in the bottom. Denali. Got it just about coming to a boil. There you go. Okay. Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute, <clears throat> stir it and press it. And I will show you the results in a minute. Okay, well this has been sitting for a couple minutes here. I'm gonna kind of stir it and break that crust on there. Let it kind of settle. Get the little press. Push it down. It's fully pressed in there. Okay, and we pour it. Oh, it's spilling. Nothing better than a freshly ground cup of coffee in the mornings when you're out in the mountains. It's good stuff. But yeah, looks pretty good. I mean, it's French press, so you can't beat it. Got a little bit of um, sediments in there, but that's kind of what you expect from French press. Trying to burn myself here. Yeah, tastes pretty good. It's just like a, this is a medium to dark roast from Costco, so nothing fancy, but 
does a good job. So if you are looking for a little grinder that's inexpensive and fairly lightweight and compact, this is a good option. Um, but just to make simple things like French press, some um, percolator type coffee. So um, I'll leave a link down below for the um, for Amazon for this thing. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below as well. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on things. And hopefully that was informative. Um, that's all I have for you today. Have a great day. And keep enjoying the outdoors and having good food and coffee out there. I'll see you in the next one. Over and out.